around two of what we saw last week. Oh my goodness, yes. They really caused some issues last week, and we have another round of severe weather expected for today, mainly around the mid to late afternoon hours. So looking at satellite radar, you can see it's pretty active, mainly across the northeastern region and down across the southeast, and it's all driven by this area of low pressure. So we have this warm front lifting, which means winds are out of the south, drawing in a lot of that warmth, and this cold front is going to approach the region. So that's going to lead to plenty of instability and a lot of lift in the atmosphere, which is just what these thunderstorms need in order to fire up. Right around 2 to 3 o'clock, we'll start to see that line of showers and storms approach the area, hitting our western, northwestern suburbs first before advancing eastward. So this is likely going to impact the evening commute. Gusty winds and periods of heavier rainfall will be the main threats as this line of showers and storms slides through. But as we head closer to sunset, a lot of that activity really starts to wrap up because we're losing that daytime heating, which again really helps to fuel these storms. We could even hear a few rumbles of thunder as we head into the overnight hours and then drying out as we head after midnight tonight into early Tuesday morning and we'll see more in the way of sunshine as we head into the second half of your Tuesday. So the Storm Prediction Center has issued a level one risk. This is a marginal risk. So this means that damaging wind and heavy rain will be the main threats and any showers or storms that we see that are intense at times will be very isolated in nature. An isolated tornado is on the lower end of the scale, but it's not zero. So all modes of severe weather are on the table for today and localized instances of flash flooding are possible as well, given the fact that we've dealt with so much rainfall already this month. About a quarter of an inch up towards the Mason-Dixon line to maybe up words of an inch uh, for our westernmost communities, but the chance for a stronger thunderstorm really looks to be the case across our northeastern suburbs, especially closer to the Mason-Dixon line. This morning we're waking up with very warm numbers, mainly in the mid to upper 70s. Dew points in the upper 60s and the lower 70s make it feel very soupy out there this morning, and it's not going to improve. We're not going to feel relief from that heat today. Today's National Sour Candy Day, and yeah, still probably want to eat the sour candy inside with the air conditioning. Temperatures climb into the lower 90s this afternoon, and it's actually going to be feeling more like the triple digits out there, upper 90s and the lower 100s, because our uh, looking at our hair count you can see our dew points are going to be well into the 70s. So that combination of uh, temperatures in the lower 90s and heat and uh, dew point values in the upper 60s and lower 70s, that's going to make it feel like 101 degrees today for a few locations, especially around the Baltimore Metro. Feeling a little bit cooler for your Tuesday, but not much relief. But then it's going to be back. We're going to be feeling more like the triple digits as we head into your Wednesday and Thursday. So turning very hot, very humid. Uh, drying out though as we head into your Tuesday and for your Wednesday, there is a chance for for some showers and storms, some of which could become severe depending on the timing of that front that moves through. Mostly sunny as we wrap up the work week, increasing clouds for the weekend and still staying very hot and very humid. Megan. All right, Stevie, thank you.